Welcome to 118 Camelot Close in Cape Tribulation. My name's Mark Whittam. I'm the Daintree Region Specialist for Rain and Horn, Mossman and Port Douglas. And we're here today to have a walkthrough of this beautiful Cape Trib home. Camelot Close heads part way up the incredible Mount Sorrow, which there we can see as just a misty ball at the top of the frame there. But number 118 or lot 28 is accessed via this beautiful private and meandering rainforest driveway. The home is set well into the property and this is a five acre block so plenty of space here so here we are now at the tucked away home that's here at 118 Camelot Close and as you can see it is really set in a lovely private rainforest setting there's enough space out the front here for a few cars the property is graced with these enormous rainforest trees. You can hear the bird song all around. It really is very beautiful. So the home itself is a barn style steel frame and trim deck colour bond clad home. It has this wooden walkway entrance which does need a little bit of love being out in the weather. It's starting to show signs of being weathered. Uh, a little undercover entryway here. An entry into the home through these timber and glass doors. So inside it's a very different story. It's uh, plenty of timber in here, wooden floorboards, wooden lining on the walls you can see the loft up there there is a loft storage area or space for a second bedroom up there your lounge space down here with office space and through to the bathroom which is nice and light in here the bathroom is functional but again, it does need uh, a little bit of love. The whole property presents as uh, needing attention, but still quite livable. And then you've got your big wide opening there onto the veranda, which overlooks the rainforest, which can be closed up with the roller door. Now, the kitchen is beautiful. You've got nice light giving ceiling openings there and you've got these beautiful local timber bench tops look at that so from the kitchen sink there you have this incredible view out into the rainforest and the creek is out that way we'll go and have a look at that creek as you can see, it really does present very nicely. Little TV section here. And then the bedroom. Which is a, a double sized bedroom and tucked away on the side here. So just spin around and go onto the veranda. The veranda is really nice. Plenty of light out here. Just a little bit of an issue happening over here on the edge with water. As we can see, just needs a overlap put in so that this hand railing here is no longer in the weather. 
But hardwood, um, hardwood timber decking out here. Nice big overhanging roof. Plenty of space out here. And it does run the whole length of the house. But the nicest part of this home is this beautiful view from the veranda. We've got some beautiful trees. So we're right near the base of uh, Mount Sorrow here. So we do have some very quality rainforest. There's the obligatory mozzie coil, which we all have to use up here on a daily basis almost. And servery out onto the decking area from the kitchen there. So the current tenants in this home are using the loft area as a storage area, but we'll quickly have a look up there. And you can see it's again timber flooring, timber lined walls, safety rails and those light giving clear roof sheets. So back out to the front of the home and we do have the little generator shed located just there with a 3.5 kVA petrol generator. Just going to go downstairs because there is plenty more space underneath the house here. So down underneath the house here there's plenty of space, nice um, and dry on a concrete slab. The hot water system is housed down here, uh, as is the laundry tub. And just spinning around, really is a, a very sizable area under floor here. And there's a little separated room right here with its own door, which is just used for storage. And then also underneath the house here is the brand new battery bank. That's a 1200 amp hour 24 volt battery bank. And has only been installed very recently. So the uh, battery charger here connects directly uh, to the generator and charges the battery bank uh, when it's switched on of course you've got your safety switches here and the solar charge controllers there so there are solar panels on the roof of this property and they are 80 watt solar panels and there are 16 the inverter right there that takes the battery power turns it into 240 volt and feeds it in to the home. You can see it's all professionally installed and metered with safety switch and cutoff switch. And then you can turn around from here and have a look at that gorgeous view again. So here we are out at the side of the house and you can see the, uh, the rainforest is a very moist environment and there is a bit of um, mould on the home. So a regular, a yearly gurney of places that are tucked away in the forest like this is pretty much required if you wanted to keep it looking pristine. But in through this gorgeous forest here on the right hand side, we're just going to go for a walk and check out the creek. All right, now, as I mentioned, the forest type here is amazing. This is a gigantic 
spur with mahogany, look at that. And we're just going to progress through here. We can see the water lines going through. There is a water line that travels down past the property here and the property actually taps into it. Look at this forest, it's incredible. Just beautiful. So just having a look around here, isn't this amazing? It really is pretty. We're standing here at the base of some quite tall rainforest trees. And we're just nearly at the creek. You can hear it there. We're only a few metres away now. So here we are at the beautiful creek. Check this out. You can just see the neighbour's house just downstream there a bit. And all of the neighbours alongside this creek benefit from the water supply. So look how clean that is. Crystal clear. So this is one of the uh, best parts of living in Cape Tribulation and the Daintree Rainforest. The beautiful fresh water from these creeks which you can scoop up and drink. Delicious. Crystal clear. So just on our way back through the little forest path to the house and look at this incredible tree. Absolutely amazing. So there you have it folks. This beautiful property is uh, over five acres. Please call me, Mark Whittam, Daintree Region Sales Specialist to request the info pack and set up an inspection to view. Thanks for watching.